clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel your entire drip campaign should be centered around providing value to your customers from your lead magnet to all of your marketing and messages thereafter if your leads consider your emails and the content with invaluable they are a lot more likely to stay engaged with your message and trust you enough to take action on your email marketing drip campaign but what should the different stages of your drip campaign look like and how do you provide value at every stage here are the different stages of a basic drip campaign the very first stage is a lead. These are those people who have entered their name and email address or some other contact information on your website. You can actually send these people a set of drip emails that encourage them to make their first sale with you. Once they have made their first purchase, they will be on a different drip campaign that encourages them to make an additional purchase, which can be either a cross sell or an upsell. Once they have shown their loyalty and they have made additional purchases, you then want to put them on your continuity drip campaign. This continuity drip campaign helps them to become more loyal customers for your business. I want to show you a campaign that I have recently created. This is an email marketing software called Aweber, personally used to create my drip campaigns. As you can see, when I go up here to current lists, my very first list is a weight loss guide and these contain my leads. My second list are people who have purchased my first product, the dumbbell set customers. The third list are those who have actually purchased a fitness consultation and then my fourth list is my continuity drip campaign email list. But how did I actually get leads in the first place? Well I created a free guide to weight loss and those who actually download this and enter their name and email address will then be in my database and they will be on my free lead list. Your first email is the most important email in our entire drip campaign. This will set the standard for what your prospects will expect later on down the line. You should not shy away from the fact that your prospect is going to now be a part of your drip campaign. Let them know what awesome value they are going to receive by being part of your database and give them a reason to want to open your future emails. As well as this the email inbox can be a very busy place, so you want to ensure that your email subject lines capture attention. The first email that you send to your database should give what was promised, give information about the purchase, introduce the prospects to a new offering, Inform the prospects about your drip campaign. Your email subject lines should spark curiosity, create urgency, and make people want to click. I'm going to give you a demonstration of how to do this within your email drip campaigns. This is an example of the very first email that my leads will receive after they have downloaded my free weight loss guide. As you can see, in the subject I have your free weight loss guide. This informs them that within this email, they are about to receive the information that they wanted to download. This is very important. You also notice that down here, I have an attachment with what I promised them. You also notice that I have high first name underscore fix. Now this will make sure that when this email is sent out, the person's name is replaced with this here. This is important because it makes your emails more personable. My email reads, please see attached a copy of your free weight loss guide as promised. So I'm showing them where they can get what it is that they downloaded. This guide reveals the top strategies to losing weight without drastically changing your diet or current fitness regime. So in this sentence, I'm giving them a reason why they shouldn't just download it, why they should consume it. This is really important because I'm further establishing how valuable the free guide is. Over the next few weeks, we will be sending you all of our best tips to losing weight quickly and effectively. As you can see here, I'm not shying away from the fact that they're going to receive further emails. In fact, I'm actually creating anticipation, so they want to open the future emails that they receive. We find that a lot of our clients achieve their weight loss goals quicker with our impactful consultations. Here I'm introducing the next stage of my products which is my consultations. Why not try it out?
Click the link below to find out more and receive percent off your first consult. So I'm introducing my consultations which is the next product I want my prospects to buy, and I'm also going to giving them percent off when they click the link. So let's look at some subject lines that will help to encourage people to actually open your emails. As you can see, I actually have one here which says, the one reason people quit. I'm creating curiosity. When you see that, you don't know the reason why people quit and that curiosity will encourage you to click. My teacher warned me about this. This is another great introduction. This creates curiosity and someone is going to think, what did his teacher warn him about? These are the types of subject lines that really get good dopamine rates. Last chance for percent off. So in the subject line, I'm showing people that if they don't click then they won't receive their percent off. This type of last chance creates urgency and encourages people to click. For today only, this does very similar to what number 4 says, and it creates urgency and if they don't click today then they're going to miss out. You could use these as templates when creating your drip campaigns to encourage people to open your emails. Why not give it a try? Our email inbox is constantly full to the brim each and every day with offers flying at us left, right, and center. How do we ensure that our email automation series is not simply ignored by our prospects but actually consumed in a way that brings them value? In order to achieve this, our drip campaigns should have a consistent theme, relate to the purchase or free giveaway, provide additional content lead to a sale, and have a time limit where possible. You want to ensure that all of your emails in your drip campaign have a consistent theme and relate to the same thing. They are on your database for a reason, so make sure you're sending them emails that pertain to that reason. Whatever their product that they bought or the free giveaway that they downloaded was, that should relate to the emails that you send in your drip campaign. You also want to provide additional content for your emails. You're not only trying to sell, but your emails should lead to some sort of a transaction. Where possible, have a time limit. This ensures that those who are receiving your emails take action. So what types of content can you send to your email list? Well, you can send video content, you can send articles, social posts, products or services, industry news and insights, or updates about your company. So the last two, industry news and insights and updates about your company could be in the form of a blog and you can actually attach your blog RSS to your email database to automatically send out these forms of content. I want to show you an example of how I have done this in my campaigns. So in Uber, when I go to messages and to blog broadcasts, I can actually create a blog broadcast that is attached to my website. From here, it prompts me to enter the RSS feed of my blog. If you don't know what your RSS feed is, you can click on this helpful guide if you're using WordPress. If you're not using WordPress, then you can Google how to find a RSS feed URL for your particular website platform. As I scroll down, you can actually alter the send time and you can alter how often you send your blog broadcasts. Having a blog connected to your database is a great way to keep your email subscribers engaged. If you don't have your blog connected to your database yet, why not give that a try? After doing all of the hard work to attract your leads to your database, the last thing you want to do is send them emails that does not resonate with them and ultimately leaves them disengaged. In this movie, I will go over a few simple examples of emails that you can add to your drip campaign for maximum engagement at each level. So, when you're creating your drip campaigns for those who are leads and have not made their first purchase, there's a specific way in which you want to construct those emails. These are people who have not yet made the purchase from you so you want to offer them a tripwire product. A tripwire product is normally a low-cost product that gets them introduced and used to buying from your business. When you're creating your drip campaigns for those who have already tripped your tripwire, you want to construct those emails in a different, unique way. 
You actually want these people to purchase something additional from you whether it be a product that is a cross sale or a product that is an up sale. When someone has already purchased a cross sale or an up sale product from you, you want to send them a different messaging to enable them to be a part of your continuity database. I want to give you a few examples of how to create these campaigns and how I have done them in Uber. So this is an example of an email drip campaign, one of the emails in my campaign, which is called benefits to training with dumbbells. Now, this is an email that would be sent out to my leads who have not yet made a purchase. As you can see, I'm introducing the dumbbells in the subject line. I also have mentioned dumbbells within the content as well and I'm giving them useful information of exercises that they can use using a dumbbell and I'm linking them to a YouTube video. I'm also giving them a call to action saying, get your dumbbell set by clicking the link below to help you follow along with my videos. So it's going to be even more useful to them if they purchase the dumbbells because the content leads them to that sale. I also have a similar setup with those people who have already tripped the tripwire product and already purchased by dumbbell set. My subjects line to these people are the one reason people quit. I also then go into why people quit and it's because a lack of motivation and no one to keep pushing them. But if they purchase this product I'm offering which is a PT session or personal trainer, then they will eliminate that issue. I'm giving them a reason why to actually make that cross sale or up sale and I'm also giving them a link to where they can purchase their PT program. Lastly, for those who have already purchased the PT program, I'm showing them emails about why they should actually become a continuity member. Get the best out of your PT. So I know these people have already gotten a PT and I want to give them information about how they can get the best out of what they purchased. The third tip here to getting the best out of what they've purchased is to pre-book their sessions automatically with our continuity program. So I'm leading them to my sale and also leaving a link to where they can sign up to make this process simple. You want to make sure that you go through your email drip campaigns and make these changes if you have not done so already.